Ladies and gentlemen, welcome one and all to Soulstorm Ultimate Apocalypse. Let's give this another go, shall we? If you saw my yesterday update video, you... well, I say yesterday. Depends on when I upload this. But my upload video, uh, my update video from Monday evening, I'm really not feeling well at the moment, so... Apologies, but these uh, next few videos are going to be 1v1s. I, I need to try and limit the amount of time that I'm talking for. Just purely based on the fact that about halfway through that uh, the other video, I just became basically unable to talk. Although, obviously, it calmed down by the time that I uh, recorded that update video. So, today, we are playing as the Demons of Corn, specifically. And much like the Chaos Space Marines uh, with that video, or videos, we are going to be trying to use only the units of corn. Although, obviously, if I start losing significantly, I'll start bringing out some of the other other things. We are fighting the Tyranids, so I imagine that's probably going to be happening very quickly. But we'll see. We will see. Although hopefully, unlike uh, yesterday's video, I don't just s sort of stay in my base for quite some time. Or yesterday's attempt at a video, I don't just stay in my base for quite some time. I mean, my problem is, is I'm often way too defensive, particularly with uh, races that die easily, like, say, the demons. But, yeah, uh, we'll see what happens. I tend... With the demons of corn, actually with most of the demons, I tend to go for a more uh, uh, great demon approach. So hopefully that uh, actually works out for us today. The demons of corn, in case you are unaware, are very heavily focused on dealing damage as opposed to avoiding it. They're one of the I think it's the Demon Prince. I think the Demon Prince of Corn does actually have the ability to um, basically stop your units from dying, kind of like the uh, War Boss's ability. And I think the Hive Tyrant has something similar as well. But. Uh, they're generally more associated with just absolutely maiming everything. That's nice. The uh, Demon Lord has asked us to liquidate all the Tyranids. As you do. Don't tell me I've... Oh, I'm stuck. Ugh. Well, I'll be able to get him out in a minute. Unfortunately, I can't actually capture it, <laughs> capture that point yet, because all my furies are busy. Oh, God. God, the demons in the early game really do not like being attacked. I think that's it. Yeah, that was it. Good. I am the right. Go and nick that point, I think. We need a defensive location. And this is a fairly good choke point. Let's nick that critical location as well, actually. Now the question is, how quickly are the Tyranids going to start getting to us? I imagine the answer is quite quickly. But I don't really know. Hopefully, we can at least start getting units out. Why is your morale staying at 70? It's a bit weird. It's not recovering, even though there's a demon lord there. 
Maybe it's because they're capturing a point? Possibly. I don't know. Right. Oh yeah, I should have probably actually equip us with the with the corn thing, shouldn't I? The advantage of actually choosing a specific god is that you can actually upgrade your shrines with a certain ability that increases all of your units' potency, shall we say. Yep, Grass health deep. Uh, health bonuses to all the demons of corn and increased damage to blood letters and flesh hounds. So we can hopefully rip and tear, shall we say? All right, I was watching the uh, Doom Eternal thing again. I am looking forward to that game. That really does look good. I mean, okay, it's pretty much just more of the same in terms of like. It looks pretty much identical to the last Doom. In some aspects. In other aspects, it actually looks like an improvement. It's like Doom 1 to Doom 2. Like, Doom 1 had... What was it about, like... Seven weapons? Eight weapons? Something like that. And Doom 2 had an extra one in the form of the Super Shotgun. It's kind of like that. Though I have noticed they're going for a very Doom 2 aesthetic. Or an old Doom aesthetic. Because you have the... Um, you may have noticed in the trailer, or the gameplay trailer thing, that, uh, yeah, they actually have the... Uh, the plasma gun. That looks ide pretty much identical. You also have the... I'm actually out of orc resource. Or relic resources, is it actually called? Interesting. Um, yeah, they've actually got all the old, some of the old designs, except obviously updated for modern times. I mean, you're not really going to get very far with your game if you decide to use sprites from, was it like 1990-ish? Is it 93? Your ultimate doom? Something like that. And... Yeah... Uh, just thinking of what I was actually doing. Ah, I know what I need to do. I need to get a new uh, warp gate. I don't think my resources are coming in quickly enough. This is where 1v1 starts to uh, almost kill me, because it's literally like, with the 2v2s and 3v3s and stuff like that, a lot of my resource income is actually from my allies. But in uh, like 1v1, it does really make things a tad slower. Uh, let's get two of those. With great summoning, should get two red horrors in case the Carnifex has come along. Because remember, we're playing as Demons of Corn only. And their infantry do not do well against Carnifexes, or Screamer Killers, or Uberfexes, or any anything of that sort of variety. Though I should probably get some Juggernauts in that respect. Indeed. God, it's been like it's been like nine minutes, and I can already feel the crap at the back of my throat. Ugh. Damn thing! I have actually managed to get a doctor's appointment, so hopefully that should be uh, resolved fairly swiftly. And by very fairly swiftly, I mean probably not at all, knowing the NHS. Uh, that's just my experiences with them. I'm not here to complain about them. I'm here to hor die horribly by the looks of things. Hopefully I can get to level 8 so I can uh, unleash the warp storms of doom. Well, I 
doing too badly. I think our main concern is, yep, morale. I can't actually see anything, unfortunately. Uh, start getting blood letters. Also bring the juggernauts around to the front. Come on, get a thousand, get a thousand, get a thousand, get a thousand, get a thousand. Get a thousand. There we go. Unleash the mini warp storm. I should get rid of all their infantry. Okay, most of their infantry. And move them around the side and take out that Carnifex. Excellent. Oh, that's a screaming killer, not Carnifex. Oops. This is much better than what was going on yesterday. That's not good. Run! That's better. Don't attack us, attack the bulk of the main force. Although I have sort of pinned my juggernauts behind. Let's uh, move them around. Round and back. Leash the blood letters. Probably not wise TPing them in there, but you know what? What's the worst that could happen except a horrible death and maiming? Ultimate summoning, demon prince, get the maledictum. We're winning! <coughs> oh no, jinx it now. Aha! My red horror is approving effective. I'm quite thankful for that. I mean, yesterday's video was against the Imperial Guard and they just overwhelmed us. I was playing Demons of Corn, obviously, and my allies were playing the Chaos Space Marines. Of presumably Z presumably Zeech. They got Rubric Marines out. So yeah, I, I'm guessing it was Zeech. Yeah, get the Blood Slaughter of Corn. I was hoping to show off some of the actual units of Corn, so might as well get one of them. I'm kind of hoping that. Well, what I'm gonna do, if I can't get the uh, Blood Slaughter out, then I'll just, you know. Depending on the time, obviously, I'll just go into a quick game with Crazy Insane on and uh, do it that way. Ah, oh, they've got another. They've got another HQ there, it's fine, we can wipe out this base. Uh, there are some blood letters. With no morale. Right. Activate blood haste. I don't actually even know what it does. Uh. Increases movement speed and enable invasion. No other ability can be used at the time. So, Blood Slaughter of Corn. As you can probably tell, it's just a defiler with some chainsaws on it. It's, um. It doesn't look particularly friendly, I must admit. The age of the false emperor is over at last, apparently, according to the demon prince. It's news to me. I thought the Imperium was still going. But no. We. You've seen the bloodthirsters, so it's not necessary for me to get them out. Or no, not as. I'd say it's not necessary. It, it would help if I did. But... The Demon Prince of Corn, I believe, is actually the strongest, which kind of makes sense. Uh, the Demon Prince of Zeech. I don't know what he has. I'm guessing he has, like, some unique abilities. Nurgle's one emits toxic clouds. It, it basically just changes what powers that the Demon Prince has. Although it does look kind of bloodthirsty with those wings. Yes, the Tyranids made a mistake coming here. 
So it took the Space Marines forever to uh, wipe the uh, wipe the tyrannies off of all the all of their recruiting worlds. We did it in about thirty seconds. Well, actually, it was about quarter of an hour, but nah, details. Uh, let's see what else is there is. Uh, also, I will eventually do a video with Chaos Demons, probably undivided with Crazy Insane Lord, because there is no way that I'm going to be able to get out Angron, which is, yeah, Primarch Angron. I'm not sure who he's the Primarch of. I, I don't... I mean, I doubt he's like... Angron. Actually, wasn't he... Wasn't he Horus, his right-hand man? Horus, for those who don't know the lore, is the sort of original Chaos War Master. He was the one that sort of started turning a lot of the Space Marines to Chaos. Well, technically, he was the first to fall. And then he went around recruiting, shall we say. Um, and the entire event was known as the Horus Heresy, based on the fact that it was by Primarch Horus. And I think Angron was, yeah, I'm fairly certain, was, was he like first sergeant or something? I can't remember. Right, so that was, that was Corn. As you can probably tell by the uh, fact that we absolutely decimated the Tyranids, they do a lot of damage. Although they, I didn't really, they didn't really fall as much as I was expecting. Um, right now, I am going to put a cut in, just in case my throat goes halfway through the next match. But I am actually hoping, hoping being the keyword, that I will be able to also record a few of the other gods tonight and seeing as though this one's only 17 minutes the next one's probably only going to be around that and so on and so forth i'm hoping i'll be able to get out two of them per day but we'll see see how that works but until next time thank you very much for watching everybody i hope you enjoyed the short game and until next time i've been Goodbye.